in Amiga Works, Hackney Wick, East London to take a look at a brand new property on the market and I'm joined by the founder of Dockley's Estate Agents, Mr Adam Dockley himself. Hi, how are you? Hello, tell me a little bit about this flat we're about to go inside. Okay, well it's a two, uh, two bedroom, mm -hmm. two bathroom, it's just under a thousand square foot. Right. It sits on the ground floor overlooking the uh, canal which is Lovely. the canal, that, the Union Canal, okay. Grand, Grand Union Grand Canal. Grand Union. Yes, which obviously goes all the way through London. So you, you know, if you were cycling, you could go up to Victoria Park, Camden, uh, even out as far as Heathrow, if you wanted to catch a flight somewhere. Might um, take you a while to get there. <laughs> it might take you a little while. <laughs> um, it was built originally as a live work unit. That's Still lots of works going on. Still lots this of area. works, yeah. Up That's probably coming. why they call it Amiga Works, because yeah. everybody's working. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So, how much is it on the market for? It's on the market at five seven five. Okay. And so, is that a pretty good asking price? Yeah. There's uh, there's Seems always quite a lot for a two bed. It's it's a lot of two bed. There's okay. a lot of space in there. Show me it. Come then. and have a, look. Go and have a look. Let's go. Down. just to make the space a little bit, feel a little bit bigger. I mean, you've got an enormous entrance hall um, in, as you walk in. A couple of them have actually added in some glass so that it sections it off so okay. you don't walk straight, straight in. into the living area. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so do you um, think that will add value to the property doing something like that? I think, it, I'm going to go through a few things which I think will add value. Okay. I think that just helps it separate it a little bit more, just makes it feel a little so bit more homely. It's more of a homely. personal choice if someone Yes. Yeah. Well, originally these were live work units, okay. so they were built as studio space for people to work and live from. So okay. um, at the moment, the client is going through the process of changing it into purely residential. So whenever someone comes along and buys it, it will be ready uh, for them to, to purchase it in right. that regard. Um, so in in essence, what you would do is you know I, I personally would put the. The, the separation in and have a, a little walk-in area so that you can leave your shoes and your coats and stuff at the door. Okay. And then you walk into, what I would do is actually move the kitchen from here to bring it back with a, a nice breakfast area okay. and maybe even the sink in this part so here. almost creating like a separate room. Yeah, almost. I mean, it would still be open plan, yeah. but it just sections it off a bit more because then you've got all that expanse of space to live in. Okay. So you can have a lovely big dining table which people could work from and then you can have a nice big sofa and armchair and it, I mean it's a huge space. How easy do you think it would be to do those changes? I think it would be, yeah. I don't think that, that uh, uh, you could get a, a builder to come in and do that for you. Probably take them you know, a month maybe. How much do you think it would cost? Probably 20,000 uh, something for a really nice kitchen. But it would add value to yeah, the property. Definitely, yeah, definitely, like definitely. Um, so, what I would do is actually, as I say, take the kitchen, move it from here, have a nice breakfast bar area here, have your wall units uh, and base units here, but also put them on this side of the, the, the room as well. Okay. So, take the uh, entry phone system off and, and, and add some base units so that becomes your kitchen. Okay. Yeah? Um, then what we've got, if we walk through. So what would you do with this? Get rid of all Just of this. take all that out, yeah. Take and it all out. Take it all so out. All becomes Exactly, because you can have like a nice um, wall mounted unit or something there um, to pictures. I mean, you've got big walls. So if you're into art and you had like lovely big pic pictures or paintings or something like that that you wanted to put up on the wall, this is perfect. Or a well, projector. Loads of local artists in the area. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely find some artwork. Somewhere around here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Now you can see from this angle a lot more of how big this apartment really is. I mean, it's it's 950 square foot. So it is huge and I guess the huge uh, glass windows here really add to yes. that. Um, it's full of light. It feels exactly. almost bigger than it is, to be honest. Yeah, and that's that's sort of, I guess, the, the perception it gives. And it, it, it I think for, as an entertaining space, if you have friends around and you do dinner parties and stuff like that, this is an amazing space to be doing it in. And you can do and barbecues out there! Exactly, outside yes. Outside space right on the I know. Now, the, the outside space actually isn't demised to the flat, but okay. because it is part of the development and there is no one walking through here, people just use it as their own and they're okay. allowed to. So, um, actually, we'll have a look out. Yeah, come out, come out. Do you think 
this is a huge selling point for me, being able to um, okay. have this space outside. And of course, you've got Victoria Park. Just you literally just walk up the road. Yeah, so yeah. What a location. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, hanging out here in the summer with a yeah. few beers. A few beers, barbecue. Yeah. And then, you know, you've got the view of the river. And there's always activity on the river. You know, people use it now a lot more. There's a lot more river boats and what have you. So, you know, canoeing and, and cycling and running. Have you and, ever been canoeing? Uh, <laughs> no. Not personally, but I know that uh, people it do. It happens. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I, I do. But to be fair though, I do run up here and I do cycle up here quite a lot. So, you know, I, I do use the river pathway a lot. And I know a lot of people have dogs nowadays. Yeah. So you can have pets in this development, which is a real bonus because a lot of people now yeah. have, have dogs and animals. And so that, that's something that I, I think is a, is a real bonus. And of course you've got great cafes and oh. bars and restaurants. Amazing. Surrounded by them, so you've never got to go far, far to find something Correct. to eat or drink. Uh, exactly, and, and here, here east, which is the media centre over in Stratford, which is just the other side of the river, there's now all bars and restaurants, there's a breakfast club, uh, there's a Randy's Wings, which is fantastic. Really, really good. Monday, all you can eat wings. Absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, if that doesn't sell it, I don't it, know what will. It sells it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and have a look at the bedrooms. Okay. So this is actually the second bedroom, but although it's actually the larger bedroom of the two. Okay, so what could you do in here to potentially add value? So I'd actually make this my master bedroom, because okay. by simply putting a doorway in here, this is a dry line wall, and so that goes straight through into a bathroom, uh, the you bathroom. then have an ensuite bathroom. And okay. you, oh, okay, you could just walk out the door and turn <laughs> left, but to have an ensuite is, is quite nice anyway. Yeah. So, you know, in the middle of the night, you don't have to get up and walk out the door and out to the other side. So, yeah, I think that's what I would do here. So you'd create a second ensuite bedroom yes. bathroom? Yes. Good plan. Ooh. So what I meant was actually putting a doorway in here. You actually could do it straight through without having to redo the bathroom exactly. at all. Yeah, it's quite a nice size bathroom. It's a really so, good size bathroom. You've got a bath and shower. Exactly, and you can fit, still fit a cupboard on the wall and put, hide all your bits and pieces away. So yeah, got a bit of wall space there as yeah, well for yeah. shelves or town rail. Exactly, exactly that. So anyway, we'll have a look at the uh, yeah. other bedrooms. So this is the master bedroom. Pretty good space and view got, of the canal. Yeah, it's lovely. Really, really nice. And of course it's en suite as well. Exactly, yeah. So you've got space for your wardrobe, space for your bed, space for a chest of drawers if you need it as well. View out onto the water and the ensuite shower. Let's take a peek in there. 